So this is the circuit of three transistor DRAM. Why three transistor DRAM? You can see we have three transistor M1, M2 and M3. All right. Now let's see overall view of the circuit. First we have the bit and bit bar lines. So these are the two lines. Now this can act as input lines or output lines. Then we have the read and write lines. Now this is a similar type of word, word line. What word line did? It can be 1 or 0. Similarly read line and write line can be 1 or 0. Then we have the pre-charge capacitors. Now these are the pre-charge capacitor already charged right. Then we have this capacitor CS. So this is basically is the main part of the memory right. Uh, we are going to write here like the X is the main part. We are going to write here and we are going to read from here. So this area we will use to write in X and this area we will use to read from the X. So this is the basic meaning of the overall circuit. So first let's see the write operation. So the very first step involved in this is we have to make the write line as one simple. So if we make the write li line as one, this means that we have to make the read line as zero. If we do that, what will happen? Let's see that. If this is one, then this would be on. So second point is M1 would be on, right? Only M1 is connected to this line. This means that read is zero. This means that M3 is off because it is connected to it. Similarly, M3 is off and here you can see M2 is also off. So M2 and M3 are off. Now let's see the further part. Now you know that this area is off. It is gone. Then what we have to do? We have to focus on this area. Now this is very simple. Now in this area we have only the bed line and we have the capacitor and we have this store capacitor, right? So you already know that C1 is pre-charged. So the value we know that it is charged VDD, right? and bit now this is the important part whether it would be input or it would be output so now that is the question it is very simple what we are doing write operation if we have to write in this x surely this would be input because we are placing here one or we can place here zero so output it is not present here so this line would act as input simple so next point is bit line is acting as input line now this is charge this is the input line now if you place here the one so what will happen so here we have vdd now to overcome this transistor this transistor have some vtn that is known as the threshold voltage of this transistor you can simply look at this so suppose this is the threshold voltage vtn if you have to make so this is the on area and this is the off if you have to overcome uh, Alright, if you have to make this transistor on, you have to overcome VTN. So this is what we are doing. So here we have VTN. So the overall voltage here would be VDD minus VTN. Because it requires some voltage VTN here. So it will consume VTN. So we are subtracting VTN from it. Because after VTN, this transistor would be on and the value of X is now VDD minus VTN. Simple. So this was the calculation here that the X stores VDD minus VTN. Now if now this is possible when bit is one, correct? Now if bit line is zero, then the value of X is zero. Simple. So now let's take a quick recap what we have done in write operation. First we made the write as one and read as zero. If we make this, this means that this transistor is on. These both are off. So this area is gone and this area is present. In this area, we are using bit as the input line and the capacitor, uh, capacitor here is already pre-charged to VDD. Now this here voltage depends on whether it is 1 or 0. If it is 1, the voltage here is VDD. If it is 0, the voltage here is 0. Then we are checking the value of X. If this is VDD, it would take some VTN value to come here. So X value would be VDD minus VTN when bit line is 1. Now when bit line is 0, X value is 0. Now you have to note that if this is 1, this will obviously be 0 and if this is 0, this obviously would be 1. So that is the next point that is what is the effect on bit bar. If this is 1, this would be forced to 0. If this is 0, this would be forced to 1. Now after doing this, what we do is we make W line as 0. So we have successfully write the 
value of x in this cell. So this was the write operation. Now let's move on to the read operation. Now let's talk about the read operation. Now this is a very simple operation. First point we have to note that read line should be 1. Read line should be 1. This means that write line should be 0 because we are doing the read operation. Now when this is 1, this means that M3 is on. Right? You can see direct connection M3 is on. And W is 0. This means that M1 is off. So second point is also very simple. Third point. Read is 1. This is on. The value here of C2 is VDD because it is pre-charged. So the bit lines that is the bit bar line has the value here as VDD. So the third point is it is pre-charged. The bit bar value here is VDD. So C2 is pre-charged. And now fourth point. This is on. Now the whole case depends here. Now what is that is the fourth point. If x value is VDD by VT minus VTN, if this is the case, then M2 would be on. If M2 is on and M3 is on and the voltage here is VD, you can see that it capacitor will discharge and the voltage here would be decreased, right? So this is the flow where it would discharge to ground and the voltage here will decrease. Now it means that the uh, bit bar voltage so bit bar voltage tends to zero and this is sent to sense amplifier and it says that if this is happening that bit bar value is decreasing to zero sense amplifier will say that the output is one so in this way we can read from the cell what is the output suppose if x was zero then what will happen if x is 0, this would be off. If this is off, then the bit bar has the voltage VD, D and it does not have any way to discharge, right? The capacitor don't have any way to discharge. So the value VDD will remain as it is. This means that the bit bar voltage will remain as it is and the sense amplifier will say if the voltage is as it is, output is equal to 0. So in this simple way, we can read this. So let's take a quick recap what we have done is read line is 1, write line is 0. Second, if this is 1, what will happen? M3 is on. And this is 0, what will happen? M1 is off. Then we are using the pre-charge capacitor. So the voltage here we have is VDD. Then M2 is on when X is VDD minus VTN. So this is the important player here. If X is VDD minus VTN, M2 is on. If X is 0, M2 is off. So if it is on, then capacitor has a way to discharge. If this is off, capacitor don't have any way to discharge and the voltage will VDD remain as it is. So the bit bar line again, it can tend to zero or it can remain to one. So if capacitor don't discharge, then there is no way that bit bar will lose its voltage. If it doesn't lose its voltage, this means that bit bar is similar to one. This means output is zero. If capacitor discharge, then bit bar will lose its voltage. That means that bit bar will tend to zero. And then sense amplifier will say that output is one. Done. So friends, if you like my video, then do like this video, share with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So we'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. This is Shrenik Jain. Peace out.